Adobe are always adding new features to Photoshop. This feature is in the public beta. If you haven't got the public beta, you'll have to download it from the Creative Cloud. It's free and part of the Photoshop package. Okay, once you've got it downloaded, then go in and now Window and down to Contextual Taskbar. And that will display this. So you've got normally select subject, remove background. Now you've got just color. This really is a feature that's always been here, but not in this panel. So you can, once you've got this, let's just click it now. It will appear over here, hue and saturation. You've always had this, well, for many years, the adjustments panel. And you get this now. So you've got six colors. It's gone through this and decided the browns, the flesh colors, the green, are the main six colors. Oh, what you can also do is you can use overall, the overall color there. So I'm just gonna click this one first, and then you'll see this panel. And if I change this, I can change this, and you can see as I do that, all of the colors will change using this hue and also saturation. So I might put it down to obviously grayscale, maybe change the lightness so you can make it a lot darker, and so on. When you change something, what happens? It puts a little dot here. Now, if you set it all back manually, all to zero, zero, and zero, that dot will disappear. It's back to before. You can also reset as well. So just click here and it resets it back to the original. Let's now go for change, say, the flesh colors. So just click here. Now that's active. Now it's not particularly obvious. And I think this is one feature they could change. Like maybe along the bar at the top, put a color so you know you actually work with it. It's circled by blue, but it's not immediately obvious when you're using which one you're working with, but you can see it's highlighted there. Okay, so once you've done that, you can modify the hue. So let's just drag this along and maybe go for, say, a very blue image. Now you can see parts of it, obviously the lips, unchanged-ish. Also, the green here, unchanged as well. And you can go for the green, so just click here. And again, that's the one that's been active. Again, you've got that blue edge there. And then you can modify that and you can see you can change that, maybe make it grayscale and so on. What you can also do is you can click the document here. So you've got a color picker, a color picker. And you can go hover over here. Now, because this one's the active one, if I go here and I'm going to say go for this one, then that changes that one. If I had been selecting any of the others, it would have changed those. But now that color been chosen. So if you want, you can then go to this one. And again, you can click here and hover over and click, say, there. Now, it's not using the color you see. Obviously, there you can see the purple, but really underlined, of course, it is a flesh color. And it will put the flesh color there. And you can then modify that. So click there and just tweak that one and so on. You can see the change there. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be an overall reset command. I don't know, let's just go for this, maybe. No. Nope. So you have to go to it individually and then reset them. So that's a slight issue. But other than that, you can tweak this to your heart's content to modify your image. And once you're happy, you can then, of course, go over here to hue and saturation, and you can do various other things, such as add mask, subtract from mask, and so on. It is just as before, hue, saturation, adjustment, layer in Photoshop. Bring that back again. So you've gone over here and you do various things here, subtract. All you need to do is click here. So click here and straight away, you will get these six colors again. And then you can continue if you want to modify them. So I can change that if you want to tweak it again. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Will you be using this feature? Do you find contextual taskbar super useful? or not. Bye.